Hi, this is Craig and welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. If you've been watching the channel, you know that I sailed a 50-foot catamaran, an exquisite X5, from Cape Town, South Africa, across the South Atlantic, over the equator, through the Caribbean. As you saw in the last episode, we finally set sail out of Cape Town, but not before a little bit of a run-in with immigration. Go back and check that out if you didn't watch that, it was kind of humorous. And in this episode, we sail in some beautiful and calm conditions into the Namibian waters for the first time. It's beautiful. But don't worry, it doesn't last much longer past this episode. Before we get into this episode, I just want to thank A, my patrons, some of which who have been around since the beginning of the channel, long since before I was doing any of these transatlantic voyages. And in this particular voyage, a bunch of sponsors that jumped on board to help defer the costs of me flying halfway around the world and spending eight weeks away from my regular job. Thanks so much. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get on to this episode. We anchor and hoist the sail. Good morning and welcome to day three of sailing. I'm on my morning watch. The sun has just risen. We are motor sailing. Very, very light winds. Like six knots, seven knots of wind from our port quarter. Just beautiful out here. As you can see from the dressing, still a bit chilly in the morning, but uh, in the afternoon it gets nice and warm. Just thought I'd let you see the uh, sunrise. Okay, it's the end of my morning shift. We actually had to take down the screecher because not even enough wind to keep that out. So we're really in lack of wind. We're getting like four knots of wind now. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, when I first started my shift at six, it's actually dark until like 7.30. But um, Neil was before me and he pointed out there were dolphins swimming beside our boat and at the bow of our boat in the pitch dark, which I've didn't think they would do because how much fun is it to play with a boat when they can barely see it but they were there so it was cool I didn't have my low light lens ready I got to set that out on the table out here uh, so that when these things happen I've got a, a camera that hopefully can catch it so next time I'll have the low light lens ready with my big cinematic camera maybe catch some of the bioluminescence as well so that's the end of uh, my morning shift All right, as you can see, the X5 has tons of outdoor speakers. They sound great, you can hear it all over the boat, depends on which zone you want it, but there's even one on the mast so you can hear the music on the foredeck. My only concern was YouTube will flag your video if it hears copyright protected music. To my understanding, as long as it can hear more than 20 seconds of a song, its little algorithm will flag it. And if you get flagged three times, your channel gets taken down. So I told Sean, you know, all this music's probably copyright protected, so I can't have ambient sounds going on but clearly the boys love their music so the music was almost continuously on for most of the voyage i know a lot of you have written in saying you love to see the sights and sounds so you feel like you're there and you wonder why i dub over music or in this case i talk over top of it and that is exactly why i don't want to get flagged but i want you to see uh, the views that i saw during this voyage so there you go uh, this is the life so this is the afternoon of day three as you can see Beautiful sunny, but also you can see no sail, no jib, no screecher. We do have a main, but you can hear it luffing over there because we were actually motoring faster than the wind, so it's, we should really just take it down. There's one thing, if you watch the channel I did the first transatlantic, you might be thinking this is getting to be a bit like deja vu. That voyage with 3,300 miles, we're supposed to be windy, trade winds behind us the whole time. We're supposed to be able to sail 90% of the time, and it ended up being like this dead calm. I think it's like three knots of true wind right now. We have no jib, no screecher. We still have the main up, but it's not doing anything. But uh, certainly is beautiful. So it's only day three. We got a 10,000 nautical mile voyage here. So I'm sure we're gonna get some really windy days soon. Predict wind is saying now it was supposed to be this afternoon gets a little windier. Now it's saying tomorrow or late tonight. So uh, yeah, once we get some wind, we're gonna put the parasailer up, assuming it's behind us. Uh, parasailer up and we're gonna sail by the parasailer. It's a beautiful sail. Also, it's a nice quiet downwind run. And that, at that point, Tomas and I are gonna do a tour of the boat for you guys. So you can see the boat inside and out while we're underway. Weather's a little strange here. Like I'm sitting here on my beanbag chair in front of the boat. 
having a great day and then all of a sudden as soon as the sun gets close to the horizon it's going to be run inside get on the long underwear the jeans like two layers of sweatshirts a coat foul weather jacket like five layers of clothing to stay warm so it's so bizarre to go from like 30 degrees to uh, 10 degrees type thing um, yeah strange I've never experienced this before but we are in very southern uh, waters here so as we go north it'll get warmer and warmer which is counterintuitive to us from North America to go north and get warmer but I'm looking forward to the heat I got to take advantage of this the boys like to have their tunes on all day as we're out here Something happened to the outdoor speaker and Tomas is inside trying to figure out whether it's a fuse or a wire or what's going on. It, the speaker out here stopped working. But that is a great opportunity for me to do that ambient real life sound. So get your earphones on. I'm going to walk you around the boat. I'm not going to say a word and you can listen to the sounds of the boat. probably be more enjoyable when we're sailing and you don't hear the sail luffing <laughs> but hey got to take advantage of the fact that it's quiet no music going right now this has turned into quite the party boat provisioning wise the boys stuck lots of beer and that's about it I was surprised when we left the dock and I said do we have any juice and they're like no we got water and we got beer okay then what are you gonna do let there be music. We demand music. <laughs> Tomas is going to go to the top of the mast. Not the top, it's only the spreader. Or are you going to do the camera at the same time? No, I'm not. This, this with the spinner carrier, you can't go up to the top. Oh, okay. It's not coming exactly from the top. Oh, okay. Any, any signals for me other than <laughs> Stop. Okay. The back speakers work. It's just the ones that are here don't. Priorities. Stop. And we'll let him figure it out. Wish him luck. Pressed one thing up there and it's working. Yeah, turn it off. We're gonna repair. What was it? Just a wire? Look, I went through everything below, so it, I, I discarded. This is the last one. The last one. Yeah, last thing. He'd gone through everything under the wiring under the nav station, and there was nothing wrong. So clearly, there was a loose wire. Clearly these are first world problems when our outdoor speakers don't work. Okay guys, I, this is very bad. This is like a beer. It's the wrong place. Like a, a half drunk person another. It's in another. Escape. Hello there. Hello, this is uh, Steve from Cruising Who Gives a f And um, we're just about to cross from South Africa into Namibia. Just one second here, let me bust down like boop, boop, boop. So we're going I, into Namibia. I don't think you're going to put that on video, but oh, how are you? Uh, hello there. Everybody has a camera here. Oh, look at that. That's only a few boat lengths. Oh, yes. 120, 111, 96 feet. <laughs> Namibia! Namibia! Okay, here we are. It is 5.35 on the third day, and we just crossed out of uh, South Africa into Namibia. How are you feeling about that? 
fantastic. It's so great to be at sea. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It is Absolutely. Unbelievable. Mm. With uh, albatross. Yeah. And they're the most graceful creatures. Just This is their kingdom out here. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm. I got to catch one of them in slow-mo soon. So what's, what are your thoughts crossing into Namibia? First country down. A couple more to go. And your boat? It's a miracle. <laughs> Mas? Uh, actually, it, this is here. my country number 90. Nine zero. Nine zero. Yeah. You've never been to Namibia? That never. Was so this is my first time. That's amazing. So now I'm officially countries. 90 countries. And this message is specifically for my friend Randy. He's going to understand that. We're going to fight how many countries. Each oh, been. you're in a battle, are you? <laughs> yeah. Neil, what are your thoughts? You're running away. <laughs> Welcome to Namibia. Oh. Woo! He's not naked anymore. No. All right, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? It's amazing. Beautiful day. It's amazing. All we these storms sunset. we've weathered. All the storms. <laughs> that was a rough passage. Shipping hazards that, that we've had woo. to deal with. We should rename yeah, we're going to have an awesome bike. sunset. What we do is uh, to maybe put up the main until yeah. there is light and calm and easy. Yeah. Because we're expecting wind for the night. So yeah. it's easy to do it now when conditions are calm. And then the sun's gonna go down. We will have already the main up, and then later we just leave with pet sails. Okay. So who wants to do it? Who's on ship here now? John. Me. I think a ceremonial raising of the main by the owner <laughs> in the Namibian waters. Namibia. That's a it's good very, very important. It's a very good idea. Yes, yes in, a, in a brand new and country. And I think we need to make him read <laughs> as we go past every <laughs> What did you say in yours? He said. What did you say? What did you say in yours? Nothing that could be oh, are you, oh, are you posting. Are you posting? Are you only saying things I can't post? <laughs> you bugger. Hashtag. I keep hoping for the best Hashtag. for like juicy this goodness. Steve. This is Steve. Hashtag no royalty. No, bleep, 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 bleep. There was no bleep. We're going back. We're going back. We're going back, we're going back to yeah, South Africa. Africa. Back to Cape Town just right. to see if the border control works. Still going. Yeah, let's see if they notice the undesirable. <laughs> <laughs> so bear it off the wind. We'll get the main working. And I've got to tell you, remember earlier I said it gets cold? Woo! I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and the sun is just about to set and the temperature is dropping fast. So I got to go get my, my woolies on soon. Let's check out the sunset though. Yeah, it won't be long now. It is going to be a beautiful sunset. Clearly we all want to see the beautiful sunset, but everybody was congregating behind the windshield to protect themselves from the cold wind. There's only so much room there. So me being the Canadian, I braved the husky north conditions up at the bow of the boat to watch it. Oh, and by the way, before the sun goes down, we forgot we have to take the lure in. You look like somebody off looked deadly as catch with that outfit on. It's that much work even with just the lure, right? Eh? Yeah. Wow. It's a big lure. What are you going to do when there's an actual fish on there? <laughs> Definitely teams. Oh yeah, we'll have to take turns. First sit down meal together. As we cross into Namibia. That'd be very romantic. Very romantic. We even have wine. <laughs> well, that's the end of this episode and probably the end of these calm days for a while. The next episode, we get about 30 knots of wind. So much wind, we start having to reef our sails because we're overpowered. And of course, dolphins show up at the most inopportune time when things are pounding and slamming. Don't worry, though, I get to film them in future episodes where I get up close and personal and it's a lot more comfortable than it is in this episode. Then in the episode after that, we're going to do that walking tour. Very detailed tour with Tomas of the Exquisite X5 while we're sailing under a parasail, which is very cool. I don't think anybody's ever done that before. And then the following episode is going to be a really cool one as we pull into Walvis Bay, Namibia, because that's where we get inundated with tons of pelicans just landing on our boat. And while we're admiring them, a seal jumps on the back of our moving boat. I, I mean, come on, this is just, I can't even believe this happened at the same time. Anyway, that's all coming up in the future. You're not going to want to miss it. So subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button so you find out exactly when a new episode's up. If you enjoyed this episode, show the channel some love by giving it a thumbs up. Helps us out a lot. And that's about it. So until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising and ciao for now. We anchor and hoist the sail.